Hey YouTube, if you're watching part two, then you watched my part one of my tutorial. In part two, I'm going to go more into detail on your setup and how I do it and what has helped me through this process. When I first started doing this, it was extremely frustrating. It angered me. I threw things. I got upset. So the orange sticks, like I explained in my first video, the reason why I use them is I use them to hold the fake nail. Your first few times when you do this, you want to use fake nails. You don't want to use your real nail to test your designs or to test your polishes. Because every time you use your real one, you're going to have to, you know, take it off with nail polish remover. After a while, it's going to make your skin raw and you're going to get even more angry and frustrated. So, all I did with the fake nail was I just taped it on there. Just regular tape, scotch tape, no duct tape. Let's not get redneck on it. Um... Just tape it. I did one coat of simple Snow Me White as my base because, again, this video is for beginners. Um, so that's what I did for that. So when we start with the nail polishes, one of the most frustrating parts, again, was initially starting the water marble. Um, this this part of the process is frustrating because if you put if you put too much nail polish into the cup, What's going to happen is it's going to fall straight down to the bottom. It's not even going to spread on the top. If this happens, it's okay. Just rinse out the cup, clean it out, put fresh water in there, filtered water, room temperature, start all over again. If you put too little polish on the surface, it's not even going to spread. It's just going to stay in a little bitty blob and it's, it's not going to look right. Like You'll know right away. So you just want to practice. Just take one color and practice. Now when you do this you want to take the polish get the brush pretty good and soaked in there and you just want to wipe one side and then when you wipe one side you're gonna get this drop on there which is what you want just like that. You're gonna hold it just above the waterline and you just want it to fall on its own. Try not to shake it, disturb it. It's going to make like crap if you do that. Just let it fall to the waterline. There we go. And if you've done it right, it'll spread. If it doesn't spread as much as you want, just take it and tap it. Same thing with the blue. And see how it spreads? Just spreads on its own. Now, I'm going to let you know now, the first time you do this, it's it's not going to do that. It's it's going to get very frustrating. It's not even your first time. It probably won't even spread like that. It'll clump or it'll just be one single dot there and you'll get mad. If you do get like one drop you go to drop it in there and it just stays there and it doesn't spread it's because you didn't add enough or your water's too cold or you're not using filtered water um, so just take that out of there I'm gonna show you what happens when you use too much because no video showed me this so I'm gonna put like a huge glob on here and I'm gonna drop it in there and I'm gonna show you what happens so here I am holding it too far away from the water and waiting for it to drop. See how it does that? It shoots over to the other side and some actually fell to the bottom and it just didn't even spread. It'll do that if you put too much. If you put too little Too little, usually you won't even get anything down your brush. You have to sit there and shake the crap out of it, and nothing will work. I'm trying to be able to show you what happens. So pretty much, it'll do that, where it'll just bead one little spot won't really spread, you'll sit there going like, <laughs> like trying to spread it and then boop. 
it'll spread in the cup, but there'll be no color because there's not enough in the droplet to create a surface of color. So those are the two examples of what you will run into when you do this. And you'll just have to learn after a while how much you need to put on there. Um, when you do cleanup, which I'm going to show you what cleanup is. Huh. <clears throat> Sorry, opening my nail polish. Um, so when you do clean up, just use it, one of your cheap ones that spreads really well. I'll just use my Sinful because it's not one of my expensive ones. You don't have to be perfect with this process. It's just a clean up. One drop. Okay. This is when you'll take your tool and you'll just spread it. Get messy with it. Get angry. All the anger and frustration from doing this. Just spread it around there. It also gives you a feel of like what it feels like to, you know, use your little sticky stick thing. So, the reason why you want to do this, you, you want to try and do it after every nail when you do your water marble because every time you pull the surface and you clean, after you do your nail, which I'll show you in part three, you'll have a runoff of polish that'll coat the surface. If you get too much of that in there and you go to put your nail polishes in there, they're not going to spread. They're going to spread very unevenly. They're not going to spread at all. Or the surface is just going to get too clumped with the oils from these. And then also when you go to dip your nail, it can affect that as well. So you want to make sure that you do clean up. Every time you do clean up, you want to try and use a clean Q-tip because, you know, you're trying to get it out and not put more back in, so you don't want to use a dirty one. So you just start from whatever end to whatever end and just clean up as much as you can. I mean, you don't sit there with a little net and try and get it all out. As you can see on the surface, see that? A little bitty residue. If you can't pull it out, at least just push it to the edge. Alright, so that is part two on how to initially put the nail polishes or the polishes or whatever into the water. Um, if there's something I missed or something I didn't cover, you can always comment in my comment bar and I will get back to you either personally or through Skype. Alright, thanks for watching and hopefully you watch part three.